Hello YouTube. So this video is going to be about uh, a project that my brother and I started oh, a little about two years ago. And our project is called the Kilo Z. And the Kilo Z is an upgrade, uh, a, a new approach to the computers you see in front of you here. Uh, the Sinclair ZX81 and the Timex Sinclair 1000. Now, basically the same computer uh, with some minor differences. Uh, the TS1000, when it came out uh, in North America, had 2K of RAM, a whopping 2K of RAM, while the ZX81, when it first came out, uh, only had 1K of RAM. Uh, but other than that, you know, with some minor differences on the keys of the keyboard, uh, basically the same computer. Now, I always had hoped for a proper keyboard, something with real mechanical switches that isn't this tiny. And so I uh, designed a keyboard and that keyboard looks like this. It's got Cherry MX key switches. And I made uh, water transfer decal labels for it. If you can see that, all right. And these made a printed circuit board for it. And the printed circuit board is also hot swappable. And let me get these screws out of here. Um, so each one of these keys, key switches can be swapped out for a different type. And uh, so we wanted to make a case that would fit this keyboard. So my brother started working in Pro Engineer or Pro E, uh, a CAD program, and he made a 3D model for a case. And a case has gone through a lot of different iterations. Um, and where we are today is this case right here. So this was printed using a glass fiber ABS on my brother's uh, Sheedy Plus printer that he just got. Very good quality, very nice texture. You can barely tell the layer lines. I'm very impressed. This is no post-processing. This is straight off the printer, what you see here. Um, now he did put threaded inserts here for the keyboard. And uh, on the back here, I've already installed the on off power switch. We've got a nine volt DC barrel jack. And then we've got this uh, VGA port uh, for the ZX Westby because it outputs VGA. How cool is that? Um, and we've got our slot here for the uh, expansion slot of the motherboard. And we've got all the posts here to screw down the motherboard. We've got a little ledge here for it to sit in nicely. And uh, there you can see the back of the connectors and our power jack and our power switch. Um, so let's uh, put the sucker together if you guys wanna check that out. Now I've got a heavily modded motherboard here. Uh, this motherboard has an internal 32K RAM upgrade that uh, that's the Wolf Richter version. Um, it has modified headers here for my new keyboard. It has the Traco switch mode regulator that takes the nine volts DC down to a clean five volts. I've got, I removed all the original jacks here. Got for the nine volt DC power coming in mic and ear. I've removed the RF modulator and I've directly soldered in the wires needed to tie in to the ZX Westby to this little plug here. Um, I've got a super monstrous heat sink on the ULA 
and it does do a great job of keeping the ULA cool. Uh, for those of you that know, uh, they get very hot and uh, it's not uncommon for a ULA to fail after many years of running so hot. So I'm trying to keep this one protected. Um, and that about covers it here on, on this motherboard. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide this puppy in and get it set up for mounting and should be just about there. There we go. Okay, so that's in. And then I've got five little Little sheet metal screws here, I guess self-tapping screws to mount this. There's one and I've got one here. There. And got to pull out my RAM upgrade to get to this one screw here. And I've got one more right here by the expansion port. That one in and then the last one is over here by where the RF modulator used to be get that one started okay so all the screws are in now I gotta put my RAM upgrade back in. There. Okay. So now with that all connected, I'm going to next, I'm going to put in my keyboard. So keyboard has a little slot here, or the case has a slot here for the cables to go into. The ribbon cables, get those in. And then the keyboard slides into a lip right here and then uh, let's see here hang on a little fiddling here there we go and then pull these guys through Little snug. Okay, there we go. Okay. So now get these ribbon cables connected up. There's that one. And there's that one. That's a little stubborn. There we go. Okay, nice and snug. Now, I will get my power connection here. And that goes right back into that corner there. Let's see if we can get that in. Here's that, tuck that inside. So that's in there nice and good. And now the ZX Westby. So I made a little 
carrier board for this guy. Um, it's just prototype, so probably make a PC board later, but right now this is just hand wired. And it's got all the resistors and capacitors on it needed to tie it to the main board. And here's my, my ZX Westby. Firmware is already programmed onto it. Pop that guy onto the carrier board. And then this is the five volts ground or five volts ground, the video and the uh tape signal and then here's my VGA connector just goes to the VGA and right now there's no mounting for this right now because my plan is or our plan is to either make a completely new motherboard with the Westby already integrated on it and also the memory upgrade already integrated on it uh, again this is just a prototype so power's in, everything's connected. Now just to secure the keyboard, I've got these little stainless steel cap screws and these will thread into the threaded inserts in the case and get those started. So the keyboard doesn't flip flop around, make it nice and secure. Okay, there's that. And there's that. And push it down a little bit more. Make sure it's started. There we go. He's all nice and snug. Got to be careful not to over torque them. Okay. So, keyboard's in. So now, the only thing left to do is connect my, my VGA cable here. VGA. I'm going to connect the other end to my capture card. And then got my power brick here. <laughs> Old school. And plug that in to the jack. And with that plugged in, Flip the switch, and you can probably see the LEDs on the Westby flashing. So that's on. Um, so next we'll switch to the uh, screen capture and show you the Westby working. All right, so here we are uh, with our Kilo Z turned on and um, if I type J, which is the load, and then give it quotes by, so in other words, not giving it a file name to load here, hit the enter key. You can see the uh, bootloader being loaded right now from the Westby. And now we've got the Westby menu. So um, first thing you see is the, uh, the two P files that I have stored on the Westp right now. Of course, you can store a heck of a lot more. But um, just to show the memory check, uh, if I type zero for mem check, it's going to load the mem check program, and it's done. So now, if I hit list and enter, there's the listing for the mem check. And what this does is it verifies that I have the two different 16K blocks of RAM available on my system by writing to them and reading them back. So if I hit run and enter, so there's the first 16K block from hex 
4000-27FFF. And the second block from C000 to FFFF, which is uh, the top of the 64K uh, memory space. Um, so that works just fine. Um, if I type uh, load again and hit enter, back to the menu. Um, some of the other stuff that you can do with the USB is uh, you can change the video output, which is kind of neat. If I type V here for video, uh, I can go to inverse video. So in other words, uh, white on black. So I hit I. Now I'm in inverse mode. And uh, I can also change to a color like uh, amber. So I get an amber on black. I can do green on black. So now it kind of looks like an old, uh, either an amber or a green, uh, I think it was green phosphorus, uh, monochrome uh, CRT. And I can go back to white. And I can also go back to normal, which will be black on white instead of white on black. And uh, it's also fancy which uh, has a whole bunch of different colors. So I've got green, yellow, white, and cyan. Uh, at any rate, so that's, that's that. Um, and if go back to the menu. Uh, let's see. Well, let's, here we go. And well, there might be a better way to do this. This is the only way that I know. Um, back to the Westby menu. There we go. Um, yeah, and then, you know, you can load other programs in games. Uh, this is all I'm going to do for now. I might do more of an in-depth later just on the Westby. But, uh, yep, there it is. See you later.